It's December 2nd, 2020, and we're right in the middle of the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. We're on our way to Walmart to pick up our groceries. All non-essential businesses are now ordered to be closed by the governor of New Mexico. We're coming in now to the grocery pickup area of Walmart. We ordered our groceries five days ago and we're finally able to pick them up today, December the 2nd. The employees are trying to be festive and in the Christmas spirit. This one's wearing antlers. And I'm showing my ID. That's so I get my groceries instead of someone else's groceries. Looks like she's having a little trouble bringing in the cart. Not only did the handle malfunction or break, but the door keeps shutting on her basket. Now here I am waiting for my groceries. And my wife's pointing out that there's a considerable line in front of Walmart. You can see him here. Now that's teamwork for you. That's the way to work the door. All right, I have my groceries in the trunk. I'm backing out and we're going to check the front of Walmart. It's a pretty long line today. Everybody is social distancing and they're wearing their face mask, which is a good idea. This is just one line going into Walmart. Walmart has two doors. So there'll be a second line coming up. We wanted to see what was going on in the front, so we decided to uh, drive along the front of Walmart and see what's going on. There's a police cruiser parked in front. I think he's here to keep the line orderly and uh, have people obey the law that the governor has set. Walmart's only allowed to operate at 75 people or 25% capacity, hence the long lines. I'm doing a loop around the parking lot the people in this line don't know that the other line is shorter. Gasoline's priced well, but no one's traveling right now. $1.82 is the current price. Hotels are only allowed to operate at 40% capacity. Now we're back home and we're going to disinfect the packages. Uh, we're afraid there might be COVID virus on the packages, so my wife sprays it down with Lysol and gives it a quick wipe. We have some coveted items. Eggs is one of them. There's always been a shortage of eggs. We're fortunate to get the ground beef chuck and Hungry Man Country Fried Chicken, one of my favorites. We even have fresh bananas and potatoes. I'm just glad to get food in the house. I think there might be a food shortage out here if businesses continue to close. And the governor has mandated that uh, even grocery stores will close if they have four or more people come down with COVID that work at the store. So there have been grocery stores that have been closed here in New Mexico, uh, even here in Las Cruces. Uh, Walmart closed, Albertsons closed, and they stayed closed for two weeks. Um, and uh, it created long lines at other stores. So there's an issue with food here in our county. We're stocking up, okay? No doubt about it. We're stocking up and preparing for maybe even worse times than right now. We have our spices, 
cinnamon and ginger for our pumpkin pie. Most of the food we bought can be stored for a year, maybe even possibly more. So we're not buying things that will just go to waste. Chips Ahoy cookies and peanut butter crackers, one of my favorites. Lots of canned goods. I'm just glad to get food in the house. It's a good thing. I like to make macaroni, beef, and tomatoes, and I'm all set for that. Although they were not able to fill the macaroni. They were out of the macaroni. Can you imagine that? Cut green beans. Enchilada sauce, we make our own cheese enchiladas at home and they go good with the chili and beans.